differences between content analysis and thematic analysis. Content analysis versus thematic analysis. Content analysis is a data analysis method that the researchers use to analyze both quantitative and qualitative data. Whereas, thematic analysis is a data analysis method to analyze the qualitative data analysis that can be used with varying research designs. Content analysis can analyze both quantitative and qualitative data whereas thematic analysis only analyzes qualitative data. Data coding is given a lot of importance as it allows in recognizing the important data items whereas themes are given more importance in thematic analysis. Content data analyzed through content analysis can help us to identify frequencies of data whereas thematic analysis can help the researchers to create a logical structure for the research. In content analysis, the researcher main focus is on identifying themes and developing the analysis in most cohesive manner possible. Whereas in thematic analysis, the researcher main focus is on frequency of the occurrence of various categories. In content analysis, the researcher analyzes the content present in each data item. Most often, researchers use coding systems to spot, differentiate, and categorize different data items in content analysis. Data content analysis allows the researcher to identify significant data out of a data corpus. When it comes to the world of research, Researchers gather data from different sources in varying forms such as pictures, books, ideas, photographs, papers, statues, ideas, behaviors, etc. Moreover, in content analysis, the researcher analyzes the content present in each data item. Most often, researchers use coding systems to spot, differentiate, and categorize unlike data items in content analysis. Whereas, in thematic analysis, researcher gathers data. He or she would carefully study the data multiple times in order to spot emerging patterns, themes, sub-themes, etc. This process of identification allows researchers to categorize data into different sections. This can be an extremely tiresome job as the researcher usually has to study and go through the data many times before finalizing the principal themes and the sub-themes of the research. We call this process immersion. Moreover, in thematic data analysis, it is always important to know that the main themes the researcher intends to use for the final analysis are interconnected. If the themes are not connected with one another and stay idle, it will be difficult to build up the final structure and make sense of the research. Thematic analysis has many benefits. Most significantly, through thematic analysis, the researcher is able to provide a logical structure to his or her research. Example of content analysis with meaning unit, codes, subcategory and category column. Example of thematic analysis with data source, codes, types of codes, code books, and themes column. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.